Kia ora koutou. I think it's start time we stopped to have a bit of a corridor and a catch up about where we're going as a country. I know it's been a while, but I have some things I want to talk about that have been happening here in Aotearoa that I think are not getting taken seriously enough. Teachers, the ones that form the backbone of our society. They help make us the people we are today. They help raise our kids equally, if not sometimes more so than we may do ourselves. And it seems that there's recently been a bit of a teacher's strike going on. Teachers in New Zealand are one of the most undervalued professions of our society, along with nurses, caregivers, and apparently anyone else who is directly in charge of looking after our society as a whole. If it's looking after others in any form, chances are it goes without saying that the industry could be a lot better. And as I say this, I wonder, how many of you guys think, man, I'm really grateful for those teachers we have. I really respect their profession. And sure, you might be thinking that now, while it's in your head, but I'm willing to gamble my entire cup of tea here. And trust me, it's really good tea. Got vitamins and echinacea and all sorts of good stuff in it. I'm putting my entire cup of tea on the line here because while you might be thinking about it all now that we're here mentioning it, in your normal day-to-day -day life, teaching is not what's at the top of your mind when you're thinking of respective professions and careers. Nor is caregiving. It's the doctors, lawyers and possibly politicians, depending on what your political views align as. And the thing is, teachers aren't actually doing so well. And when I say not doing so well, I mean it very politely as a code red alert. Pull up Google, would you? Now type in average salary of a teacher in New Zealand. $24.19 comes up, which averages out to be about 54000 a year. And that's only for the time when teachers are actively in class, excluding all the background prepping and planning work they put into things outside of working their 9 to 5. The times teachers spend in class, they are juggling upwards of about 30 kids, each coming from different backgrounds, lives and potential behavioural and learning issues, along with the fact that the growing poverty crisis in New Zealand, there are kids who will be coming to school who haven't eaten breakfast and won't be eating a healthy lunch either. Hungry kids don't study well. They get irritable, restless and they are not the easiest to work with. Now pull up another tab, type in average salary for retail in New Zealand. The answer that came up for me was a solid 46 grand. That's a whole extra grand for three years without study, upwards of three years of very real student debt, which you will most likely spend your whole entire life paying off because, you know, teachers don't make enough to realistically pay the bills and get this, that grand extra you get paid as a retail worker that's an extra grand to not sit at home after hours, spending all night every night grading, marking and concocting up lesson plans for the next day. That's an extra grand to not spend every last dime of your paycheck on resources and supplies because schools aren't getting funded enough to help the kids who aren't making it. And on top of that, 50% of working teachers are burning out within the five year mark. One in five graduating students aren't even going on to pursue a teaching career. And that's not even taking into account all the students who drop out of their teaching course beforehand because trust me, even in a fully supportive environment, teacher training is truly a gruelling task. It's not something you can just realistically undertake if you don't have that 100% passion there. But even with the passion, we're not coping. So what gives Aotearoa? Why aren't we valuing these people who are sacrificing everything to look after our kids as their own? Why don't we seem to care that these teachers' mental health, physical health, social and psychological well-being is going down the drain over what is quite literally our future? Why can't you offer at least a scrap of humanity to think about the fate of your own children? Teachers are getting burnt out before the battle has even properly started. We have children quite literally starving because they aren't getting the resources they need. We have children in dangerous home situations. We have one of the highest suicide rates to date, and that's a number that keeps rising. How can we expect any of us to try and battle this if not even our schools are a safe place? The one place we were meant to learn and grow and prepare for our futures. When our teachers struggle, we all do. And you would think that if nothing else, we could at least act like we cared. So what gives New Zealand? Why don't we care enough for what's holding ourselves together?